I am simply deciding that I'm not going to hide myself anymore. I am not going to go hermit mode all the time because I'm fearful of letting myself see the world. I'm fearful of having the world see me and all my darkness and my light and my authenticity. And I'm just, I'm simply deciding that I'm not going to give a fuck anymore. And I'm simply deciding that I'm going to give myself the life that I deserve, the life that I came here for, the, the life experience that I came here for. Spirituality, awakening up to breaking out of the matrix when you have up leveled yourself and up leveled your energy to a level you've never seen before you've never heard before and I'm pretty sure that you're the first in your generation of family to have gone through this because if you take a look and you take a step back and think about the people that came before you and how their life has panned out versus how you are right now I'm 24 years old no kids, no significant other, um, no career yet. I am literally a blank page, a blank canvas waiting to just have an adventure come to me. And so I think I stand in the most blessing in disguise because I have taken the time to, I'm still healing, but I've taken the time to unbox myself off of this pedestal that like life has that life is just about getting paycheck to paycheck work like just work 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 and not in a way that makes you happy like you can't be creative like I've seen everyone in my family just do things for people and they never follow their dreams they never like they didn't even dream any dreams. They just kept going and going and going and going and going until like so many kids down the line and they just stopped neglecting their emotions. And that's how they stopped being creative. They stopped being unconditionally loving. They stopped being empathetic and, and kind. And they just started to people please their way into things. And it just, it's, it, it took like me to see things when I was younger um, my intuition, like, as a young child was, like, none of this, th why are we like this? Like, and I'm just, like, so philosophical. I hate small talk. I'm just, I'm so open to, like, why are things the way they are? And people would just sit there and be like, it just because it is. Like, what do you mean because it is? This, that's just the way the world works, honey. No, because when arguments were happening and people's emotions were getting slid under the rug and we couldn't openly express ourselves or else we would be told to go write in a journal or why don't you go deal with it yourself but then when we tried to deal with it ourselves then we were called crazy and we something was wrong with us that like we weren't open honest and you know but we weren't taught that like and then when we tried to openly express ourselves and ask you know how am I supposed to feel when these things happen can you help me not to feel this way because I'm crying and I don't know why and that's the thing is that people just they don't take a second to go in within ourselves and feel the emotions they don't take a second to be like are these my emotions or are these the emotions from someone else that has been passed down to me are these my emotions or is it from a friend that's around me that I'm feeling for them? Everything is tied within our mind and within our energetic being. Like anything that is in our body that needs to be released and isn't, it makes us hard and it makes us have the rock hard shell. And then we end up being bitter and very like, we just start to find escapism we just start to escape in things that we are not supposed to escape in and that's how drugs and alcohol and like gambling and you know sexual abuse happens and people domestic violence like arguing and and mental instability and emotional instability and everything because people just choose not to heal themselves and 
we're just going to keep going down this rabbit hole of people being unhealed and then creating little beings and those little beings unhealed and keep going and going until someone in the family has to sit down and not only cry because they're hurting, but cry because they feel the pain from the people before them. They feel their mother's pain, their dad's pain, their brother's pain, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles, their grandparents, their great grandparents. They feel the pain from generations and generations worth of pain. And then you guys look at them and say, something ain't right with you. You don't feel like you belong in our family. Well, we don't. Uh, apparently, because we are the black sheep of the family, the blackest of the black sheep, because we decided, fuck that. I am not going to feel that way anymore. I am not going to continue that pain anymore. I am not going to give this to my kids that I didn't think that I wanted, but now I actually do want. And I want that opportunity, hoping that I'm alive long enough. Not to say that, I'm, you know, but I'm just saying that, like, things sort of happen. But I know that I'm being protected, and I am very grateful. And I am going to choose to fight every day to stay in this body, to stay in this earthly plane, because it's a crazy, crazy world that we live in, and people aren't breaking out of the matrix, and they aren't breaking out of their minds, and they're just, they're going crazy, and it makes me crazy, because I can feel it. I walk in a room, and people will stare at me, and half of them will be like, you're so beautiful, you're so pretty, you're so, you you know, whatever, and then the other half would just, because I am a mirror, like, I am the past, the present, and the future combined into one, I'm a black sheep, I am, like, a sigma female, and, like, people look at me, and, and either they love me, or they hate me, because I am a representation of them, and that's just, because, like, I am literally, like, all the broken pieces in my family combobulated into one, and, and when I tell you, I have sat, and I have sat and cried hours in the bathtub, and wondered, why am I still here? Like, what is my purpose? Because all of that pain that I went through had to have been for something, because not only me, but I know that, like, my siblings going through pain, and I just, but they, I also, my story is also different, because I've went through dozens and dozens of toxic relationships, and I thought that I was just being nice. I thought I was just, that was just how we were supposed to do. But I was being a people pleaser. And that was not it. No, because then I lost myself. I don't know who I was when I left those situations. When I reached my breaking point and I said enough's enough, I'm going to choose me. And I went into my alter ego and I started, you know, acting crazy. Um, now I'm like, okay, I'm not out. I'm not in that now. But like, now everything's all, all over the place. And now I'm like, okay, so what is, what is it that I want to do? Because, and it's not even just like a design path, but I have, like, we who break out of the system, we have a blank canvas. We can do whatever we want. What do we want to do? Do we want to go down the college career path? Do we want to, you know, just do our creative passions and just, you know, just dive into it? Do we want to just, you know, help heal, the, like, we can do anything. And some of us are sleeping on it. We are sleeping our way through it because we're just like, it just seems easier. We where we've, we've, the awakening is enough. No, babe, just the beginning. But I am simply acknowledging that I'm going to be abundant and prosperous and successful. And I'm going to give the world not only to me but my future family and I'm going to be the first in my generation to do so and it's going to be an unconditional loving family with no curses in it evil eye nothing nothing